Hey, this is Mike Locke with ML Web Consulting. Thanks for checking out this tutorial. I'm going to walk you through how to use the the pen tool and some of the vector tools in Fireworks to create really cool illustrations. Um, and an, an illustration that we're going to use is this illustration here. I jumped over to Mahalo.com and I saw this illustration. If you jump over to Mahalo.com and scroll all the way down to their footer they have this really cool illustration at the bottom in their footer and you've probably seen things illustrations like this on different sites and uh, I'm going to show you how you can easily create these type of illustrations using the vector tools in fireworks and the pen tool in, in particular so what I'm going to do first off is take a screenshot of this and paste it into my fireworks canvas. I'm going to crop this portion out just to use as a reference. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do, we're going to create this mountain, this little hill in the back, green hill. So go ahead and grab your your pen tool, and you're going to want to click here, and to to get a straight line, you want to hold your shift key down. And what that does, it gives you a straight line. Then you click again here. And at this point, now you want to then click and drag. Okay, now your, your pen tool, you release it, and your pen tool will have this little curved uh, line attached to it. Now you want to come over here, click and drag again. And you want to do it again. Click here and drag and then so you have three humps and then the last hump or the last you want to close it you want to click the the entry point so you want to click it and drag it again okay so you should end up with a shape like this and now with your sub selection tool which is the pointer next to the your default pointer you can come over here, click on points in your object and sort of drag them and manipulate them to how you wish, how you want them. Okay? So that's, um, that's a nice technique to have. So there's our first hill and now I want to get my paint tool and I want to select that, that color. Let's do this. We're going to do a gradient. I believe it's a gradient. Yeah. So gradient you have and you have a dark green at the bottom so light green at top dark green. so now you're going to with this object selected control C copy control V and so you want to just copy that object and you want to flip it horizontally flip it horizontally take your scaling tool and just scale it down a little bit slightly Take your paint tool, you're going to select this second green hill, give it a different shade, so that's our second mountain. So now we want to then, you can do alt, you can, you can drag this, click the alt key and it, it creates another copy. So you can copy the object, flip it horizontally and then we're going to create the third hill. So scale it down. Okay. So that's our, that's our third hill. So it's as you can see it's it's looking pretty good at this point. Um, let's go ahead and get uh, get the rectangle tool we're going to create the water effect so just draw a rectangle at the bottom here you can send it to the back take your paint color tool and you're going to select this highlight color there and then this color there okay so
So there's our, our water effect. And you can probably darken the water a little bit. I want it to be a little bit more tropical. So, okay. So that's the water effect. Now let's go ahead and, and do the clouds. I'm going to show you. This is a cool, cool, easy way to replicate these clouds. Go over here and select your this little ellipse tool. So you can draw a circle. You want to draw a circle here. You want to then holding your alt key you move the object and it creates a, a, another object and I just want to do this a few times you make it a little bit larger so what I'm doing I'm creating a bunch of circles just a bunch of little circles okay and so here, here are all my circles. Now what you want to do, oops, what you want to do is you want to select all your circles and then come over here to modify, combine path, and you want to do union. So what that does, it creates a little, a un, you know, it unifies all the circles into one object and now you have cloud effect. So go over to your paint tool select this shade of blue and then white so there's a linear effect blue to white and now that creates the cloud effect and then from there well here's our cloud and we want to create that bigger cloud so just alt drag and then just scale so I'm scaling the same cloud that I just created. So it's basically just repeating objects that I've created. And what you can do so that they look a little different, you can just flip this horizontally. So you have an, a different cloud effect. So drag this one over here. Scale it up a little. And that's that. Okay, so let's take a look at our reference image so now let's go ahead and create the the Sun I'm gonna create the Sun so I just get the circle tool create a big circle you're going to want to feather the edges a little bit to about 20 take your paint tool and just copy that Sun color there select the filter and give it a radio you want to give it a radio effect but you want to have the effect going from dark to light dark to white so and then just turn the opacity down on that no you don't want to do that that looks that's about right so let me just send that to the back so there's our Sun and now as you see the cloud that sort of seeps through the Sun sort of a transparent right there you want to grab our cloud here go back into the filter and in our gradient filter just select this top box here and turn the opacity down to zero and that gives you that transparent effect similar to that cool so what I'm gonna do is uh, break this video up into two parts so uh, if this once this video ends just check the part two and I'm gonna wrap it up and show you how to do the reflections and and things like that in the palm tree so alright so uh, now we'll stop this now but turn in uh, just turn to the next video and uh, I'll show you how to how to wrap this up alright see you then bye